The RAF went into their match with East Leeds confident they could roll over their opponents, but a bout of illness in the RAF side meant several players, including Martin Wood, were not fully fit. And very soon the Air Force realised they were up against a well-organised and strong, tough tackling side. It took just five minutes for the visitors, who brought two coachloads of supporters with them, to take the lead out of persistent pressure. Jack Ely eventually going in under the posts and Tom Sheldrake converting the goal. The RAF enjoyed only a few rare moments on the attack in the first half. First a grubber kick from Dave Hankinson and Wood just failed to make the line. Then a drive for glory again by Hankinson was thwarted by Leeds, the RAF running out of tackles. They thought they'd scored and a lovely kick from the scrum half bounced away from the Leeds defender and Anthony Gartland thought he'd made the touch but the ball had rolled out of play. The home side never got their foothold into the game and it was East Leeds who scored a second try just before the break. A superb drive from Ben Walkin wasn't snuffed out and it was Lee Fisher who went over for the unconverted try to make it 10-0 at the break. East Leeds maintained their stranglehold on the match in the second half and were ecstatic when Tom Idle, anything but, charged for the line just a couple of minutes in to add a third try which Sheldrake brilliantly converted. There was no way back for the airmen who mounted a brave rear guard just to keep the visitors at bay until late in the second half when East Leeds capped a dominant performance, 20-0 the final score and no complaints from the RAF.